Good morning, so it's Monday the 16th of August, little weigh-in today. 307 is a bit of a big one, it's my first weekend where I enjoyed some treats, so I imagine that to go down to about 301 by the end of the week, but now let's see. Okay, so video number two, I promised you a little bit of consistency. Could we go on to something here? Anyway, the clip that we just started with um, was from Monday. It is now Friday. Um, I intended to do a little bit of a vlog every day, but um, I'm not that good yet. So you take what you can get. So Monday morning, 307 pounds, um, heavier than I have been in a long while. As I said in that video, very blurry eyed, you could tell I was half asleep. Um, that weekend just gone was the first one I had um, kind of an off-plan meal. I had a burger and some chicken wraps. Um, I had some chocolate that some of my kind clients had bought me and my girlfriend had bought me. Um, and I just enjoyed a few treats, you know, nothing crazy, but more than normal and just on top of my normal meals. So obviously that had a knock-on effect on weight. Now that weekend was two weeks post-show. So from there till, from, from the show till that point, I've been pretty controlled. Um, you know, with regards to food, because I've had photo shoots, uh, there's been expos, so I've been kind of sticking roughly to a plan, but fairly intuitively eating, just weighing myself in the morning, seeing where that's at, basing myself around the 300 pound mark. So, as I said in the video on, on Monday, it's now Friday, um, this morning I was 301 pounds, so I am pretty in tune with where my body is at right now. Um, I have actually increased sort of my base level diet this week, but it, this is the first week where it has been perfect. Like everything has been as per, you know, what I've written down for my own uh, kind of diet plan. So just as a rough idea, um, on training days, calories are 4,400 um, and non-training days, our calories are 4,300. So very close. I tend to have a much bigger gap between the two. And the reason I've not this time is just mainly down to hunger. Um, on my non-training days, I have five meals. So to have five bigger meals really helps with my satiety. Um, and at this point, like I said, my weight is kind of holding um, very, very nicely. So the way I am currently feeling, my training is progressing. Um, obviously, slowly, I'm not rushing that aspect of things. I'm not hungry. I'm not overly food focused. I'm thoroughly enjoying all the foods in my plan. So I'll probably run this diet for another week. Um, I have got a weekend away. There'll probably be a couple of meals off plan there. Uh, but again, this is all part of the process of being able to factor it in. Um, and, you know, given that I am no longer on prep, having that slight element of freedom and, and I suppose relaxed, relaxed eating uh, approach. Um, so that's the diet side of things, nice and simple, more food than last week, however, also more consistent. Um, and again, I think now I'll be in a position where I won't really be sort of deviating much outside of maybe a weekend off plan meal. Um, if, you know, if, if the, uh, the fancy takes me, I'm not going to eat for the sake of it, basically. Uh, training wise, this was my second rotation. So I tend to do two rotations of training, rotation A, rotation B. Rotation A was last week, rotation B was this week. Still four sessions a week. Um, as I've said before, I do a push focused uh, shoulder session, uh, pull session, hamstrings and back, rest, push, set, push focused chest session, legs, rest of the weekend. Allows a very good balance of recovery and training for me. And it also allows me to have weekends to focus on, especially at the moment, a lot of clients are competing um, and basically having a little bit more freedom there without feeling like I've got to get loads in in a day. So it, it suits me really, really well from a, a professional and, and a personal standpoint. Um, cardio six times a week, 20 minutes in the morning um, on the bike uh, that's behind me. Um, and that's where we're at. So this week, along with everything else, a busy week with work. As I said, plenty of clients have shows coming up. I also had two photo shoots for a new sponsor that I'll be talking about very shortly. I'm very excited about that. Um, so that was, that was good, but obviously busy. Uh, kind of took up an extra four hours on a couple of days that you know I had to make up for. Um, but I absolutely loved it. Um, like I said, I'll go into more there. On Wednesday, I had a sports massage. I tend to have one every two to three weeks at least. Um, so I, I go to AB Sports Ther Therapy over in Colville. There, Aaron sorts me out every time. Um, so again, my, my traps were quite tight. I just had a few bits I wanted to go through. Um, so we did that, felt really good. And yeah, it is now, I think I said it's Friday. It's not Friday, it's Saturday. Oh, Jesus. Um, 
I'm not off prep quite yet then, apparently up there. So it is Saturday um, and I am going to be driving very shortly to Wales because this weekend I'm supporting the FitX Welsh show. So I'm going to be going there. Um, obviously, I've not been on YouTube, but those who follow my Instagram will know that I've done a couple of guest spots for FitX. I've judged a couple of shows um, and I thoroughly believe in what they're off, what they're doing, um, which is just supporting bodybuilding and really making it a fantastic event for the athletes. So I'm excited because this is the first one I am going simply as a spectator. So I just get to sit back, relax, enjoy, appreciate the physiques, appreciate the show. They all run exceptionally well um, and I can't wait. So I am going to get packed for that. But before I do that, I'm going to head next door. I'm going to talk about my new sponsor. Okay, so I am awkwardly perched on my sofa, but my new sponsor is Silverback Gymwear. Um, they contacted me a couple of weeks ago and we spoke some things through. I uh, really like what they stand for. Their hashtag is Walk With The Strong. They are based around strong men, so their clothes are durable, big, and fucking cool. And I'm a big, big fan so far. Uh, I've got a massive box here. So I'm just gonna kind of show you some bits. I've already gone through and worn it. I've pretty much been wearing something every single day solidly for the past week. Um, they've given me loads, very, very generous, very professional, incredible group of athletes on board with them as well. From a bodybuilding perspective, there is Mark Hector and now myself. So fairly niche in terms of the bodybuilding, but someone will be kind of pushing more and more. And like I said, I thoroughly love what they're about and what they kind of the quality of their clothes. So I've got their t-shirt on here. I've also got their shorts, which you can't really see, but shorts for a big guy are hard to find. And these shorts are absolutely awesome. But look at the size of this box. And now given that this has already been gone through, I don't know if that even does it justice, but it's heavy. Um, they do everything. Uh, I don't know if I can point you in, probably not. But we've got 5XL t-shirts, 4XL t-shirts, shorts, shorts, so many hoodies. They even do things like straps, uh, wrist straps, lifting straps, um, beanie hats. Beanie hats I wear, caps probably not, mainly because of my hair. They do socks, water bottle. I mean, these guys have kitted me out, I cannot wait. But the number of t-shirts I've got to get through and vests here is almost overwhelming. Um, but I'm going to be kind of going through that over the course of the next few weeks and getting through all this stuff. But honestly, first impressions, the quality is exceptional. What's really surprised me is the amount of different uh, styles they have, which I think is really cool because you don't feel like you're just kind of wearing the same sort of stuff all the time. And like I said, the shorts are an absolute winner. So these are the ones I'm tend to train in at the moment. Um, they're sort of like a mesh basketball short, really, really comfy. And then the ones I'm wearing now are a black version of this, which is like a lightweight cotton, really comfy. I train in them as well, but they'll probably be more day-to-day -day stuff. And like I said, they have just, yeah, been amazing. So stay tuned. You'll probably see me wearing this in all my videos moving forward. Um, and I am not gonna say sorry for that. So a big thank you to them for reaching out. Very excited for the future. I think we're going to be at the Arnold's. Um, like I said, they've already done two photo shoots with me. Um, they are very, very proactive, very, very athlete driven. And it is just really good to be involved with a company like that because you don't just feel like a sort of spare part. You feel really involved. Um, and not only can I push them forwards, um, but they could push me forwards as well and we can grow together. So that is, you know, fantastic. So thank you to these guys. Silverback Gymwear. Check them out. If you do, website code, Team Viking, all one word. That's my code, much appreciated, peace. Okay, so here we go, off to Wales. Not the most complimentary camera angle, but it's safe, it's hands-free. So that's what matters, be safe, kids. Um, got my strong, clean kill. I get tired driving, so I need to have a little bit of a stimulant, and that's the best one, because it helps me focus as well because it is about a three and a half hour drive, but it'll be worth it. Got a nice little hotel for the night and then, uh, yeah, get to watch the show tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it. I won't uh, waffle on too long. I will uh, crack on with the drive. Wish me luck, hopefully. There's no traffic and uh, I get there in one piece. So I will speak to you guys on the other side. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So a long drive, three and a half hours, and I'm here in not so sunny Wales. It's raining outside, you can't see. Um, and I'm chilling, obviously. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I truck drive, I get so tired after. So I will probably have a little nap. I've checked out the room service menu. I'm off prep. I think I'll be having a burger later before bed. Um, all my other meals today were prepped and on plan. Uh, so just the last one, um, as I said previously, it's a weekend, a little bit of freedom, a little bit of flexibility. Um, and yeah, then uh, a good night's sleep and show day tomorrow to watch everyone compete and, uh, and support Fitex. So I can look forward to it. And I'm not sure I'll speak to you again today, maybe when the burger comes, and no promises, because I might just stuff my face. But tomorrow, I'll try and get a few clips of the show and uh, finish off this week's video. Sunday morning, little walk. Look at that, sun in my eyes. Beautiful. Who would have thought it? So obviously in Wales, um, I like to get my morning started with a walk. Um, on a Sunday, I don't do any direct cardio, just to get things moving before breakfast. So uh, it's about 7.50, breakfast starts at eight. I head over there, get some food, and then head off to the show. I did have a burger last night. It was very nice, a bit of room service and a good sleep. And yeah, really looking forward to today and to seeing what the uh, the bodybuilding has to offer. God, that sun's so bright, who would have thought it? But um, yeah, really a uh, nice start to the day. Over there, there's some hills, we can't really see them. There's also a few dog walkers about, you probably think I'm a bit weird talking my camera. So I will uh, leave you there. And next time you see me, we'll be at the show. This is on to novice bodybuilding. So I'll just give Joe the nod. Do we have three novice bodybuilders? If we can welcome to the stage, please. Number one, Kevin. Water turn to your right. Oosh. Tired. I'm not going to take long here. Um, just a little wrap up of this video. Second video done. Um, back, just gone nine o'clock in the evening to, from the Fitesh. Fitesh, can't even speak. Give up, Josh. The Fitex Welsh show. Fantastic show. Um, anyone who has competed with them knows how much they care about bodybuilding. Um, just a spectator for me today. Fucking loved every minute of it. Um, a great caliber of athletes. I just love meeting people. Um, and uh, having that, having that community, having that mutual respect, mutual passion is awesome. Um, I couldn't stay till the end just because I had to get back. But um, yeah, again, awesome show, awesome quality. Great little weekend away from me. Long day, tiring day. Uh, I'm gonna have a bit of food now and a shower and to bed. And I'm gonna upload this tomorrow on Monday. And from there, start next week's vlog. Vlog, vlog, eh, whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Any comments or questions, please put it below. Uh, any subscriptions, always welcome. Um, constantly trying to build this now. Um, but yeah, that's another week for me. Um, I don't really know what you call this phase. Like I would say like another week in off season, but it's not. I call it like a transition phase from prep to off season. So yeah, all in all, really good, thoroughly enjoyable. Just a reminder of how much I love this sport and love doing what I do, very fortunate. And um, I'll speak to you next week. Have a good one, guys.